to news by it on Ghana Talks Radio. I'm Deborah Adolso. Coming up through Ghana Cards, Ghost's name has been cleared from government Peru. Aumia. Ghana must balance change, political and economic challenges, climate crisis, and economic advisory. Clarify your stance on illegal mining now. Ghana coalition against Kalamse to National House of Chiefs. Black bearer of the new Patriotic Party MPP, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, has retreated government dedication to resolving the persistent issue of ghost names on the public payroll. Thus, fraudulent entries, which have siphoned off public funds for years, continue to be a focus of reform in the effort to improve financial management and restore public trust. In relation to that, Dr. Baumia highlighted the government has been systematically addressing the problem by continuously scrutinizing the payroll database to ensure its integrity with the help of the Ghana card. He emphasized only legitimate and authorized employees should benefit from government payments and the process of removing ghost names is ongoing to safeguard public resources. Speaking during a tour of Bojia in the Awutu Senya West constituency, Dr. Baumia underscored the importance of maintaining a clean payroll system as part of the government's broad anti-corruption agenda. He noted the elimination of fraudulent names not only saves the country money, but also strengthens the efficiency of government operations. Dr. Baumia assured the public that the government remains committed to tackling all forms of corruption, including the widespread of issue of ghost names. Thus, he believes it's a critical step towards ensuring accountability and transparency in the Ghana's public financial systems. Moving on, the Climate Crisis and Economic Advisory Group has stated that Ghana must navigate the delicate balance between political stability economic resilience and increasing challenges posed by climate change as it approaches December pools. This, according to the Climate Crisis and Economic Advisory Group, is because many of the problems experienced by Ghana highlight the wider implication of climate change for the sub-Sahara region. In its September 2024 report on solving the climate change conundrum, Climate Crisis Advisory Group noted the country faces challenges including economic reliance on primary products, dependence of gold and oil vulnerability of the economic sector and economic instability. Meanwhile, the Ghana coalition against Galamse has urged the National House of Chiefs to clarify its stance on illegal mining activities in Ghana, particularly on the widespread Practice of Galamse. Comprising various media organizations, the coalition expressed significant concern regarding the environmental and social repercussions of illegal mining, emphasizing the necessity for strong leadership from traditional authorities in addressing this pressing issue. In their recent statement, the coalition noted that the participation of traditional leaders in illegal mining has exacerbated the problem. They called on the National House of Chiefs to take a firm position against Galamse and promote sustainable practices that prioritize environmental health and the welfare of communities affected by mining operations. The coalition believes that chiefs hold a vital role in guiding their communities and setting a positive example in the fight against illegal mining. They further highlighted that illegal mining does not only deplete natural resources, but also causes widespread pollution, jeopardizing the livelihoods of many Ghanaians. And that's all on News Bites. My name still remains Deborah Adolso. For more updates and information, please log on to our website at www.ganatalksradio.com. Thanks for staying with me.